What's up all my plant lovers? I wanna do a quick video showing you guys how to plant up a still be bare roots. I live here in Eastern Pennsylvania, zone 6B. I've got lots of woodland sort of areas and a still be is a great candidate for moderate shady areas that retain pretty good moisture. If you plant them in too much sun, chances are their foliage will burn and the flowers probably won't last as long. Um, conversely, if you plant them in too much shade, they'll typically grow rather lushly, but they will, you'll be sacrificing the quantity of flowers. So about early morning sunlight is generally the very best kind of areas to grow them in. Now I've had my bare roots out here on the ground. It's been raining for the last three days. And the reason I've done so is because if you're ordering your bare roots online, which a lot of us are, um, I'm particularly growing the Visions pink and red astilbe that I got online. And um, the thing is you really need to ensure that they don't dry out before you plant them. Better yet, even while you plant them, they love to be kind of consistently moist. So that is definitely a rule of thumb that you need to keep in mind when you're planting your astilbe. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our bare roots. They're somewhat similar to a peony and very similar in terms of planting in the ground like a peony. So you can hear here are the roots that are gonna be emanating downwards at the base of our hole. And up here is the crown of the plant. And um, you can see the eyes just like a peony um, look just like this. this is, these are all the growth points where the actual foliage will and stems will emanate from. So when we're planting these in the ground, we really want to ensure that the crown is really no deeper than about an inch or so below the surface of the soils. So typically for a root this size, I'll dig maybe like a four inch hole and um, place it horizontally just like this, cover it with an inch of soil and that's good to go. So here you can see a second bare root that I have. And this one's a little trickier because you have all of these roots kind of coming out of every which side of the root. And when it, if you're planting something like this, it's always best to just plant it on its side like this. That way you're going to ensure that all the different areas of the crown are kind of retaining that like one inch depth. If you plant the crowns too deep, um, your plant will suffer and likely produce much less flower power than you would otherwise if you had planted it at the correct depth. All right, so let's go find a spot in my woodland garden and uh, show you guys how to plant it. Okay, so I've picked a nice spot here in my woodland garden. This garden is pretty much full of things like um, ferns, some Japanese anemone. What else do I have growing around here? Um, have some daylilies over at the front of the uh, of the front of the side, and this is a, sp a spot which will get good early morning sunlight till around 11 a.m. But it really never gets any sort of hot afternoon sun, so that is pretty perfect. The other thing to note is that these are pretty deer and critter resistant. So living here where I live, like that's huge. Like deer are a problem. Okay, so just do your best to try to flare those roots out as best you can. Just nice and gently place it in there. You can see those eyes are, you know, they have those growth points that are going down like that. That's okay, they'll find their way back up. So don't worry if it seems like they're kind of in the wrong direction. Then we're just gonna backfill it. Now I really wanna make sure that that crown is not too deep. So I'm gonna backfill it a little bit just like that. And and voila, it's as easy as that. Now, a still be you can plant them in the spring or the fall. I particularly like planting them, them in the fall, which I'm doing right now. And maybe I'll get a flower or two next spring, but definitely by the second spring thereafter, I'll definitely get some good flower action coming from uh, my bare root that I just planted. And these are typically like a mid, like late spring bloomer, um, early summertime. And um, I had one of my teachers back when I used to live out in Seattle, one of my favorite teachers I've ever had, he told me how he would actually uh, spray paint his astilbe flowers after they had kind of finished um, finished their coloring for the season because they really only ha hold their color for like two weeks. But if you spray paint them, they look like they're uh, still blooming all for like 
months and months because the flowers just kind of dry right on the plant and it they still retain their texture and their stature on the plant. So it's definitely something to consider. Um, anyways, I hope you found this video short, sweet, to the point, and helpful for you planting your Estilbe bare roots. All right, guys, I'll catch you later. Ciao.